Werder Bremen still in the quarterfinals of the UEFA Cup in the domestic league, just 10th at the moment. But this man, Pizarro, is still one of the hopefuls for the team. Robert Enker, the goalkeeper and current German number one. His opposite number today was Tim Wieser. So this was also a battle today between the two goalkeepers from the German national team. After 17 minutes, it was Jerzy Steiner with the first opportunity. Warming up at the moment, there was Tim Wieser. Playing some excellent football recently, the goalkeeper and current number three in the German team. 41,500 were here today for this game, Bremen against Hanover. Hanover currently 13th with 26 points and dangerously close to those relegation places. This was 29 minutes played. Naldo is the man with the header. Head coach Thomas Schaaf, certainly not used to being sitting in the middle of the table in recent uh, seasons in the Bundesliga. And then Ozil, Mesut Ozil, the German Turk, had a golden opportunity on 35 minutes to make it 1-0. Lovely ball in from Diego. He took it very well, Ozil. Couldn't get it past the keeper, Robert Enker. Just four minutes to go to the half-time whistle. In a first half that didn't produce many chances, it was Claudio Pizarro who, you give him a chance, he'll take it. The ball coming off Christian Schultz, deflecting over the top of the head of that unlucky man, Robert Enker. 13th goal of the season for Claudio Pizarro. Will he be remaining in Werder Bremen? We shall find out at the end of the season when all the allegations have been sorted out that have been thrown at him from Peru. So, hungry for more, 1-0 at half-time. And into the second half, 52 minutes have been played at this stage. It was Brugging with a free kick and Jesus Steiner, the ex-Czech international, got ahead on it. Couldn't quite get the direction now. And then two minutes later, lovely ball in from Mesut Uzil and then Almeida, the chest to Diego. Chest on, the man that came on, by the way, for Rosenberg in the second half, almost supplying Diego with goal number two of this game. One hour played, Claudio Pizarro to Mesut Uzil, and then inside the box, it was a foul from Pinto. Mesut Uzil goes down, and the referee had no other alternative than to give the penalty. This would be Diego and Robert Enke with a tremendous save, as if he knew in which corner that was going. One of the best goalkeepers around with a tremendous save indeed. And against the Brazilian, Diego. So still 1-0 then. Five minutes later, they were coming forward again with Claudio Pizarro, and you know who was there, Robert Enke. That was 66 minutes played, well taken by Claudio Pizarro. Very close indeed. Two minutes later, and it was the same old story. That was Ozil, this is Pizarro, and that was Enke. Thursday, Werder Bremen will be featuring in that UEFA Cup quarter-final against Udinese, but today they had to deal with Hanover. And they didn't in this situation. Great goal on 69 minutes from the Polish international Jacek Cinovic. Cinovic with a wonderful delivery into the back of the net, his second of the campaign. 1-1, game on, he danced Mertes Acker and Naldo Dizzy. From every possible angle, it doesn't matter where you watch this one, great goal from Cinovic. And then on 77 minutes, that was the delivery from Bernish. Tiolis with a header, Diego with goal number 10 of the campaign. 2-1, 77 minutes gone. The last game was a 2-2 draw in Hoffenheim for Hanover. And the last defeat was against Bayern Munich, a 5-1 defeat. Where are they going to go down again today? 
Well, it was Lala who got there, but wasn't really there to stop Diego scoring goal number 10. Celebration times for the Brazilian. And then three minutes later, corner from the goal scorer, Diego. Per Mertesacker with a flick on, and Claudio Pizarro with a 3-1, the 14th goal of the campaign. From the near post to the far post, Pizarro, and in the back of the net, poor old Robert Enker. The goalkeeper has already stated that quite possibly he will be leaving the club at the end of the season. The problem is, there's still no teams from the Bundesliga who have put in any kind of offer for him. Then on 84 minutes, just four minutes after that goal, excellent work again from Ozil, lovely delivery, and there he is, goal number 15, Claudio Pizarro. Last week they lost against Dortmund, away from home by a one goal to nil. Today, back on home soil, they were feeling very good indeed, and especially Pizarro. 4-1. It was Rausch in the centre, who slipped at the wrong time, giving Pizarro the opportunity. That was it, Thomas Shaw feeling happy at last. 4-1 for Werder Bremen against Hanover was the end result.